Hey Zane. Yes, Jeffrey. Are you ready for some uh, Russville Union? I don't think you said that right. Russ, oh, Rossville. It's Rossville. That's. On what? On second pour. And we're gonna do that when? Right now. Welcome to Second Pour, my name's Jeff. What are you drinking? This is Dr. Pepper Blanton's. I thought we did that like earlier in the week. Did you just walk in here and pour you another one? Hey, listen, you do you, I'll do me. I've created a monster. All I'm saying is, is uh, are we doing second pour or what? We're doing second pour of uh, Russville. Today on second pour, we're gonna do a second pour of Rossville which is a very unique. Oh, it's Rossville. <laughs> it keeps throwing me because this is one of those barrel picks and it's got Rick Ross on the back of it. It does, and that's why it should be called so Rossville. So it can't be Rossville, it has to be Rossville. Oh, it is Rossville. See, you got it. There Rossville go. Union, Indiana Rye Whiskey. That's it. MGP. That is an interesting take hey, on it. Hey, let's talk about that. Well, as we all know, NGP is responsible for how much percentage of liquor that goes 80%. out? 80%. Yeah, it's crazy. It's one of the biggest whiskey producers in the United States. And, you know, I'm feeling like uh, I probably shouldn't have been drinking. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the Dr. Pepper. You've been drinking Dr. Pepper and Blanton's again, haven't you? I have been. I, I this really week's just thrown you off, has it, it not? I don't know. Mondays are tough for me. But this is Friday. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so, Rossville Union, yes. this is a cast strength rye whiskey. Yes. It is 59.65% ABV, 119.3 proof. Its mash bill is a blend of MGP's 51% rye, 45% corn, 4% malted barley. Yes. And 95% rye, 5% malted barley from Rossville's distillery. It is non-age statement. It's distilled in MGP and Ross and Squibb Distillery, and it's bottled by Ross and Squibb Distillery. It runs around $55. So that's interesting, no age statement. That's because they're saying it is what it is when we made it. That's right, hey, it's rye whiskey, shut up and just drink it. Yeah, that's. I think that's really where the goal is. I think that's what they're saying, right? And the fact is, is sometimes you just do want to shut the fuck up and drink it. So let's do that. All right. So let's pour it. Let's pour it. <laughs> so great. Now I don't know how to break it to you, but there's no Dr. Pepper involved with this review. It's quite okay because I have a feeling, you, sneaking you, suspicion, you can still feel that this will be okay. Yes, I am not totally tongue tangled. Tangled tongue? That is. Russville. Oh, Rossville. Rossville? The reason why we're saying that is because in the episode before this episode, Jeff just couldn't say, you just, uh, you just couldn't get it right. Rossville right. I had to look and make sure it still said Rossville in the back. Yeah, that is great, but there we are. And now. So in this episode of Second Pour, we normally do what? We snap, smell it, snork it. <laughs> we, do, we normally do what? We tell you what we snork. And then we. Look at what they say we should have snorked. And then we taste it. And then we tell you what we taste. And then they tell you then what we, we should taste. And we tell you what taste. they should have tasted. And then we say what the finish is. And then, you know, sometimes they'll have finishing notes that they want to tell you about. And then later we review it on a... Five finger pour system. And for now we're gonna do what? Well, it's time for us to snork. Well, let's snork. Oh, and let's don't forget, well, we'll get to that later. Okay, we'll get to that later. Okay, I'm getting the apple, the I'm, rye spice. I'm getting the typical rye spice. Yeah, I'm... Apple, that's interesting. I've had a lot of Dr. Pepper today. <laughs> so. You're not supposed to lead with the Dr. Pepper. No, there's apple. There is apple. I agree with you. There is apple in there. There's apple. It does have a really uh, complicated nose. This is a complex whiskey. I think so. It's interesting, obviously, because I already know that it's coming out of MGP. <clears throat> now, MGP makes an incredible rye. A lot of craft whiskey producers buy from MGP yes. because the rye is stellar. But it is, ironically enough, different. I'm really picking up the apple now that you said apple. Yeah. That's just really strong in the in the Yeah, no, that's so I mean, tell me, what do the professionals say that it smells like? Professionals say rye spice. Yes. Vanilla, okay. caramel, oak, and a slight hint of chocolate. <sighs> do you get I'm not getting the chocolate. Vanilla, 
for sure, the caramel for sure, rice by its hands down is the first thing you smell. And interesting for a 119, you can really stick your nose in there. Yeah, I've noticed that the uh, more I drink, the less that's an issue. <laughs> but this is your first drink of the day, is it not? But Shh. I'm not getting the chocolate. It's not even known yet, man. Of course I haven't had it. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right because I'm feeling a little inebriated. <laughs> no, I'm not good. We would not shoot an episode inebriated. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, all right, here we go. So I say we try this. Oh, that's a great idea. All right, let's do it. Wait, are you trying to? Shit. Now, you may not smell the 119. Well, it's there. But it's there when you take a nice little drink. Uh, it's definitely there because it, it hugs hard. It hugs hard? I think so. I feel it like, like I don't get it in the chest. I get it more in the belly. Not really. Yeah, it's a deeper, it's a <clears> deeper <throat> thing. Cause no, it's, it's almost like I've been drinking for a while. I feel like it kind of just sits on the palate and just <laughs> kind of like static. I'm gonna be completely honest. I really feel like the palate is all over the place on this. I'm getting some of the caramel. I'm getting the oak. I'm getting the clovey rye spice. But then there's a whole bunch of other stuff just eating the shit out of each other on my yeah. palate. So I'm just gonna talk about the physical sensations of drinking this okay. only. <clears throat> okay. I get immediate, the, the 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 burn, the burst. That's the 119, I think. Then it, Clove. Then I get the numbness into the lips and tongue. Clove still hanging out, rice spice. Yeah. Then because of the numbness, you, you you get a release of flavors that's slightly different and muted from the front of your mouth. And that's the stuff I'm talking about that's yeah. just kind of... But as it goes down, you get definitely like the back of the palate flavoring. Warm hug. And and it, it follows through. I'm confused. That's what I I'm think saying. it's confused. I think there's a, a lot bit. going yeah. on with the complexity of this whiskey. Yeah. Um, I know this is a barrel select. I know that the charred barrel group went out and picked this thing. And it does say a 95.5 on that rye whiskey blend that they're doing in there. I don't know, I feel like it's missing something. It's good. No, it is good. I think, I think but because it's, it's missing something. I think it's because it's so high proofed <clears throat> uh, that it's blowing it up a little bit on the it's flavor. It's almost too much, right, yeah, on the bit. flavor. It's like, yeah, it's great as far as if you wanna feel it. Yeah. It's gonna get you there. If you want to taste it, though, I think it's kind of getting in the way. Yeah, and first of all, I don't think it sucks, and I actually no, like no, no, really no. high I, proof. I, I don't want anybody to confuse the idea that this is a crappy whiskey. No, it, it, but it has a uh, it has a complication that mm -hmm. is really hard to to really label it out what you're getting. Because lots of times, you know, you want to sip something and you want to experience it and then break it apart piece by piece. I'm having a hard time doing that. Now let's let's consider the fact that this is a barrel pick barrel select. So it's gonna be unique. It's gonna be unique. But let me tell you, say what the standard cast strength comes from. Uh, the palette normally is sweet caramel and vanilla with baking spices and chocolate. Still, they're running with the chocolate. I am just not getting, if it's chocolate, it is bitter chocolate. It is not milk chocolate, it's straight on chocolate. This is cocoa without the sugar, if it was gonna be. Baking, baking cocoa, maybe, but. M maybe. Huh? The baking spices, I get that. I'm getting that. Well, now that we're talking, let's go to the smack factor. You know, honestly, the smack factor for me is like a two. Yeah, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. It's there, but it's, it's I think, it, I still, once again, I think that the no. the complexity of the, the, the higher proof mixed with it having a problem trying to fuse, blend. I feel like, going on there. I feel like the alcohol is flashing off the flavor. Right. That, that, that pretty much nails it. So like you taste it, but it's just gone. Yeah. And it's not there long enough. It's not lingering long enough. It's good, mm -hmm. it's, but it's not great. 
So the nose, they were saying it was it was a rye spice, vanilla, caramel, oak. Sweet caramel, vanilla with baking spice and chocolate. And the difference in the nose to what the palate was is by basically what? Leaving out what, the vanilla? The, no. They're, they're not really talking about the rye spice a whole lot and the baking spices is the difference. Which I think in rye spice and baking spice is kind of the, the same the thing. Same thing. Yeah, no, I honestly though, I can say this much. I feel like the palate on the nose and palate in the taste is basically kind of the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do feel like they're Now, this is one of those cases where the palate and the nose kind of meet. Yeah, I think that's actually the case. It, they're calling for chocolate in their standard cast strength. I don't feel like the chocolate's hanging out in this as much. Uh, that apple that you talked about. Yeah, that, that's, that is still kind of there, but it's like the apple peel of an apple. Yeah, it's it's the bitter. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the chocolate. It's the bitterness of it, and maybe that's some of the chocolate coming through. But then, of course, if we're talking about the finish, uh, the finish, I, it, what finish? I, I don't know. It's uh, short. It's a short finish for a 119. It's point, a short finish, but if there was any portion of it that hung on, would be a bitter. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. And I guess that would dry and the, bitter. The rye, the numbness yeah. of the clove. And, and rye can be kind of dry. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of that dry, bitter finish. Once again, I think it's kind of that sour apple, but the peel of the sour apple kind of thing going on. Um, it's not bad. I'm trying. I'm already jumping the gun and trying to think about how I'm going to rate this. Okay. Well, then how do we normally rate that? It's on a what? Five finger pour. So five being the absolute. You're going to chung that stuff. To a one being. It's whiskey. And so, where are you landing on this? Well, I mean, can I explain what I'm thinking? Yeah, go for it. I don't think this sucks, and in, and in, mm. in all intents and purposes, I feel like. I would enjoy drinking it if it was offered to me, whatnot. Mm -hmm. However, <clears throat> because of its lack of personality or uniqueness, because it's just all over the place, I don't feel like I can rate it very high as far as a recommendation for something you have to have. I agree. So I'm gonna give it a two. I'm gonna have to come in at a two as well. It's a better whiskey <clears throat> than a two. It's not a bad whiskey. It's, it's just, just it's, it's a I good whiskey. I just can't, I can't recommend. Yeah, I agree. And that, that's kind of the thing. I like, if you have this in your cabinet, this is great. It is good. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody offered it to you, drink it. It's good. Yeah, you should. Um, but to sit here where we are mm -hmm. and be like, oh, you have to go out and get it. It's a two on that part. It, it kind of feels like, I think if, I never want to say you've watered, watered down a whiskey. Yeah. But, but I feel like if this had been cut, yeah. instead of an uncut cast strength, what it would taste like. And I think I think it's gonna be more than just like pouring it on ice I, or I, I or a know. little drab of maybe uh, some of Dr. Water. Pepper. <laughs> I I don't know, man. I think we found the pin ultimate when it comes to Dr. Pepper. Right? Blantons. Yeah, but uh, I I I will say this is like again, it doesn't it doesn't suck. Um, it's not bad. It's just not what I was expecting a lot more out of that. It doesn't feel finished. Yeah, I feel like it's like not quite there. Yeah, it doesn't feel finished. And what about you? Have you had Rossville? Is Rossville Union something you're kind of a go-to? I just don't think it's what it, it could be. I think it could be just a little bit more. Maybe it's that blending that they're doing over there. Yeah, I, I, that's what I think it is. It's probably, this needs to not be a barrel select. But what about you? Have you had Rossville? Is Rossville Union something you get in your area, especially the rye whiskey, something yeah. you really like? Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, but if you completely disagree with us, hey, we want to hear that too. Yeah, because it's. I feel like there's a story to be told here. It's just lots of times you just don't have time to figure it out. And then we're trying to help other people. Yeah, pick and, out and, and maybe we just haven't sat around with it long enough. Maybe yeah. the complexity will change now that we've opened the bottle. You know, Which that happens sometimes. Some bottle after it's been bit. opened, yeah. it changes. You try to come back to it again. You're like, that's amazing. Maybe that's what will happen for us. But so let us know because yeah. uh, we want to hear from you. And, you know, hey, if you get the time, why don't you subscribe? Yeah, like, share, and subscribe. And then, of course, don't forget, Jeffrey has a dong he needs you to ding. Ding it right here because he's, that'll let you know. That he's got something posted and ready for you to view. Like new episodes from Whiskey Pop or Second Port. Just like today. So, in the meantime, you guys continue to be cool, be safe, drink responsibly. And as and always, cheers. cheers.